Try this monster hunter. What are you gonna do about it? Uh, yeah, I'm just I, I, I don't know. I've been feeling like I just kind of want to do something weird on stream lately, and this is technically sort of weird, so we're gonna mess around with this and see how it goes. I have no end game with this. Uh, right now, I was kind of curious if I wanted to do this solo, because learning all the monsters on my own is a, is a lot of fun for me. But the game is also very clearly not designed for that. So we'll see how well that goes. I also, this is the second Monster Hunter game I've ever played, so that's a thing. What do you have for me? We've just started. I, I did a little bit of tutorial stuff offline. Um, apparently. Just random event class. <laughs> so yeah. We'll see. I don't know what a lot of the controls do. I never played on a controller when I tried it on PC before. I was much more attuned to uh, using mouse and keyboard. So we'll see how fast... Oh wow, that's an actual herring. Ah, that is legitimately just a herring. Tuna? Tuna, sorry. Herring looked different. Also, they're, they're a lot smaller. But that's about the right size and about the right shape for a tuna. Oh, yeah. A special uh, quest has been added. Apparently there's an urgent the quest. quest list. This is the first Good actual luck. monster that I've ever fought in this game.
First comes the Vanguard, unstoppable tank. Then comes a second, attacking the flank. Finally, the general, the highest in rank. As a game, they cut to the bow and kill without fail. This will be easy. So you are the great Dragoras. I mean, the great Izuchi. Oh, I probably should have eaten. I just realized that. Oh, I forgot to eat. I. Eat a meal. I have not actually used any of the food yet, because I've not really had a reason to. Hmm. Tango effects will wear off once you complete a quest or return to Kamira. When Dango skill is activated, as well as its probability of activating differs. Oh, okay. I guess I'm just gonna... Oh god, how many points do I have? I've got way more points than I have money. Actually, I've got more money. I know absolutely nothing about how any of this works. This game has dango mechanics. So if you really want... I don't even know what the speed, what the weapon sharpening button is. Uh, that actually sounds great. Considering that this is probably going to be the first time that I will be, uh, whoops. Uh, hold up. We want balancing, we'll order this. Thanks for the meal. <laughs> now, the other thing that I was kind of wondering about, I've got 15 minutes to do this. I am wondering, first of all, where the monster is. I guess it's over an eight there. I do not have any other camps, so I can't fast travel yet. Yes, I did. Uh, I have named both um, the cat Atreus and the, the no, I've, I've named the dog Atreus and the, the cat Loki so that, that I can name them both boy. Hey, you got it. Oh God, I don't remember any of what's going on here. It's gonna be a while before I figure out the controls. Is the bot? Supposedly the bot is running. Sure, Loki. Uh, I don't even remember what the run. Making progress. Okay. And then we've got the shortcuts. There's the wet sharpening. Oh, that's how to... Okay, that's how to sharpen. Cool. That's good to know. Run like the wind. You can tell that I am 
Oh god, I feel like I've never played a Monster Hunter game, honestly. That's not true, but it's what it feels like right Doing now. Great. Sweet. Uh, Dragrus. I don't know what the Dragrus is doing around here. Because the Dragrus aren't supposed to be here, right? Yoink. They're in the world. This is gonna be easy. That's a good start. All right. It's time for the bonkening. I assume that the dinosaur is up here. Yeah, I see its tail. And it's two little minions. Yoink. There we go. I am really bad at aiming this thing. So I assume that killing off its minions first is probably a smart idea. Doing great. I'll be taking this. Where's the big one? Oh, it's moved on to the next area.
Uh, I could really do with it. Oh. How do I? Oh god. Get after it! Can I, oh can no, I... you don't! Sure. Thank you. Jesus. Fantastic. Run like the wind. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, some questions about sharpening a. Now's your chance. You know, blunt weapon. But it arguably does seem to do more damage, so. Wasn't too bad. Nothing personal, buddy. Yeah. Time to head back. Actually, I guess we're already going to head back. What is that? Oh, they're statues. Okay. This needs some polish. So time for some sharpening. Okay, I see. I sort of flick it up to do that. Really, it's not sharpening so much as exfoliating. Hmm. Okay, well, neat. I'm guessing the two star is what we've been needing for uh, actual monsters. Oh, hello. See you later. All the cats making cat puns. I've got some good deals for you. You can spend money at the market to acquire useful items. Sure. Sometimes when you return from a quest, a market will hold a sale. During sales, most items are offered at half price. During a sale, you can also enter a lottery. You can spend zenny or lottery tickets to enter the lottery and receive a prize depending on your luck. There are plenty of room decorating trinkets to do win, so, uh, so watch out for sales in the market to enter. What are you looking for? I don't know. Show. Oh. Well done. Neat. I do I get all of these? Neat. Happy hunting. It's a good day for a hunt. Mm. 
Oh yeah, Hinoa here was very, very concerned that they couldn't get any Dango. Which is kind of funny when you consider that I ate some Dango just before going out there. Mm. How are you today? Neat. What are my optional subclass right now? Did I already... I don't know what the, if the ones with the symbol next to them mean that I've already done them. I don't think I have. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, no. These are the ones that just kind of happen. I remember now. Have a look. Uh, let's go through play eight easy chance. don't forget to eat what, what's up oh it's you canine master inukai this entire place runs off of dango it's very true apparently mm -hmm. sniff them out both super useful yep. for gathering when you're out on a quest and can't carry any more items, you can use the Palamute pouch to carry extra items. You don't have to equip it like in other Palamute gear. Just take your Palamute with you on a quest and that's it. Oh, it's just... Oh, huh. It is literally just an extra pouch that you have access to. Oh, that's very nice. Interesting. Yep. Huh? Look. Oh god, I feel like a lot of stuff has just been dumped on me all at once. Good to see you. All right. About feeling a strange presence in the shrine room is that it doesn't seem to be related to the rampage. Dongo? How do I Dongo? Oh, <laughs> Have I mentioned that the cats constantly make cat puns? I don't know how to Dongo. Oh god, I really am just Let's do this. This is critical lore. We need to know. Well, oh, that's how to do self-improvement. Okay, so that's the play button. I was wondering where that was. Hmm. Hey, level. Uh, I, I really do feel like I have no idea what I'm, what's going on. Hello, great wire bug. I don't know how this dog tunnels through solid rock, but he manages it. Run like the wind. Sweet. More fire lanterns.
Okay. Duplis, you've had practically no experience with the whole Monster Hunter stuff, right? Same with you, Level. I don't remember if you've played this before either. So apparently we need to, need to go and hunt some Mizuchi here. All you know is that it's harder than Dark Souls. Oh, don't believe Level. He's been saying that forever. Also, I just remembered something. I will be right back. A certain feline has uh, returned to my mind. You played World for six hours and never returned to it? Yeah, I just didn't get into it. Or I guess you didn't get into it. I played a significant amount of World. Um, I had a couple of long-standing issues with it, which were apparently largely fixed by this game. So we'll see how well that goes. This is gonna be easy. Yes, I did just pick up a snake and put it in my bag. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry, bug. Doing great. I'll be taking this. How do you mean? I always considered My Monster God. Hunter to be one of the most kid-friendly slaughter em ups I've ever I've ever seen. There's practically no blood. This is gonna be easy. Run like the wind. Is that a Vespid? Also, hello, Crimson. Oh, I did not realize that you could do that. You can drift on the dogs. How do you do how do I do that? Oh. Somehow I drifted. I could have sworn there was another one here. Nothing personal, but oh, apparently there were. We just killed both very quickly. I'll be taking this. Yeah, I might switch back to mouse and keyboard pretty soon because I don't yeah. know. I'm not feeling the. Uh, You shut up, Master Itsushi. The brew hair, a hunting helper, will enhance the effects of certain items when used while the brew hair is inside the helper cage. The following items are affected. Uh-oh. Takes care of that. Interesting. 
I was trying to figure out how hunting helpers work. Time for some sharpening. Still trying to figure out how that all happens. Uh, what did you mean about making it kid friendly level? Personal, buddy. Now. Oh, because it's a Switch game? Mm. I'll be taking this. I don't know about that. It came out on Switch, but so did Monster Hunter G. So, uh. I don't know. And Monster Hunter G was considered one of the harder ones, so. I don't know about kid friendly at all. We need one more. Go! Yeah, that's what I understood. Making progress. Kill the two here. Oh, no, they're back. Zichi armor is worth it, or if uh, Run like the wind. it differentiates between great Zichi and normal Zichi pelts. I'm just doing these quests because they're quests to do. Ooh. Nice. Job, buddy. Mission complete. I mean, if it's anything like the Jagras set from the previous game, I imagine it's kind of so, uh, kind of close. Okay, that's almost all of the one stars done. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Raise a palomir to level five. How do you do that? See you. I assume I need to visit over there at some point. What? 
Forge, let's upgrade a weapon. What do we got for weapons? Upgraded. Weapons can be created at the smithy. Select a weapon and forge it to create it. Yep. <laughs> Exit the tutorial into another tutorial. Upgraded weapons can be rolled back to their original state. Choose a weapon with a yellow arrow. And select the rollback to return them. Oh, that's actually really nice, especially if you've got branches. Which I've seen the full upgrade tree. I know there are branches. Okay, well, what do we got? Uh, it's the Defender Horn and the Kimura Horn. Which I gotcha. guess we might as well upgrade to. And I can't see anything past that now. My okay. hammer's ready. And we might as well get a charge blade going as while we're at it. Gotcha. Ah, I'm kind of trying to do this uh, solo for now. Like, you, you're fine to hop in voice chat, but I won't be doing any, like, co-op stuff for a while. Because I want to try uh, the first couple of runs of each monster just on my own. Just so that I can learn them. Right, let's get cracking. Uh... Gotcha. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, I've got two Kimura ones now. Oh, well. Right, I forgot they gave me one of each of them. Uh, where is the box out here? I know where the box is in here. Because hey the place is not that big. At least I thought I did. Where's the quest board? Ah, here's the box. Yep. Uh... Oh, I've got two. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I guess I've got two Defender's Horns. I did not realize that. Oh! Okay, so they just give you a Defender and a... Okay. I didn't realize they gave me one of each. Have you been, Crimson? Also, I assume that is Kalalu because it's been a while, and you did not used to have that name. What would you like to do? <laughs> Rated one star, two star. Huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. huh. hmm. I 
I've been waiting for you. Oh. Oh, well, that's nice. Ah, uh, that's weird. You should be able to see it. Because it's just in the general area. Are you in the disco? I love it. The dingus. Also because... There we go. Because it's faster. Yeah, I had, uh, I had, uh, like, toggled off, like, later, all of these oh. chats, oh. but because there were unread messages, a lot of them didn't go away, but I didn't realize that that also made all the voice channels go away, so. Mm. The dingus. Oh, yeah. Because now all the chats, or the voice chats are also, uh, Text chats as well. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, I'm doing good. I'm still working at the same place because I apparently hate myself. <laughs> yeah. You know, just chilling. I don't need this. Oh, I've got flash bombs. Dung bombs, mega potions, null berries. Wow, they really do just set you up with a lot of really useful stuff at the start. Yeah. If. I don't think you did, but if you pre-ordered, then they give you a bunch of stuff. But then, because the game's been doing well, they tend to give out packages to people just to be like a thank you for supporting them. Mm. So, so if you talk to the courier cat and accept all the add-ons, there's a ton of stuff that you just get for free. Including a bunch of golden eggs that you can sell for like a quarter million startups any. Neat. Uh... Or at least 100,000 startups any, so it's a lot of money. Oh yeah, there you are. And one of the downgrades from Worlds, there's no sell all your junk button, so you just have to go find what looks like junk and sell it. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. Yeah. I haven't actually looked at the item box at all since I started. Yeah, I recommend the auto sort button. Uh, it does help. Because then all the junk items are right behind the tickets. They always wind up kind of towards the back of your bag, so they're easy. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and they gave you a demon drug too to start off with? Oh yeah, no, they give you a bunch of shit. They give you a bunch of powders and drugs and all that goodness. Okay. Me. Oh, hello. Here's the quest list. Let's see here. Oh god. Sure, why not? Be careful out Get it there. off the list. <laughs> but yeah, in return to old form, uh, all of the village this quests are forced solo. So it's only the, the guild hub missions that you can even do multiplayer. So. Yeah. That's probably for the best, because then it does force players to actually, you know, learn the monster. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can get up to, like, five or six star missions and fight this game's Nergigante equivalent. What is this game's Nergigante oh. equivalent? Uh, it is the purple samurai-looking dragon called Magmalo. Oh, yeah! the very brutish boy that's on all the cover art for the base game. Yeah, I, I didn't end up uh, playing this until after the... Uh... After Sunbreak. Came yeah, out. after Sunbreak, so I haven't even bothered looking. <laughs> Still trying to figure out how to do, do all the new movement stuff. Yeah. Dogs, like... You can climb in a ridiculous amount up a mountain, but your dog can only climb up vines and stuff. Mm. Which is a weird situation to have a dog be able to climb vines. Yeah. I mean, it's nice, because, yeah, if you're doing the sprint, and I 
I think it's left trigger while you're on your dog sprinting that you do the, the drift that gives you a speed boost. Oh yeah, I think I missed out on something. How do you climb con continuously? I seem to start the wall climb, but I can't continue the wall climb. Uh, I don't press anything. I just kind of walk up the wall. Hmm. Uh, some walls uh, are a pain in the ass, and if you ever start going sideways, then you will just wind up jumping off. Uh, that wall is not super easy to climb so because it's very like changes directions a lot so mm. yeah it's pretty much some walls are super easy some walls you just like can't climb up at all gotcha. making progress all oh, right we're just gathering honey okay we don't have to kill anything we just yeah. need to find the honey yeah, honey and mushrooms. But yeah, ever since Sunbreak, they added the option of uh, if you just start sprinting up to a wall, you will just start wall running up it. Like mm. You don't even have to wire bug towards it or do anything. You just start sprinting towards it and you're good. Can't do that on Palamutes. Going. Yeah, because Palamutes just bounce off the wall. <laughs> They're good for horizontal movement, but you'll just need to get used to wire bugging and running up stuff for vertical movement. This is gonna be easy. Or using the the great wire bugs that you either have already or will get introduced to soon. I found a few of them. Let's see. Yeah, the person the person that gives them to you tends to give you missions that are just, hey, use some and then come back to me and I'll give you more as a reward for using some. So you just wind up with more than you can possibly use. Hmm. There we go. And yeah, I wouldn't know what your button input is for it, but there's a button that lets you just hang on a wire bug when in midair. I think it's... If I remember... I think it's like... Yeah, it's, it's B. Like B or something. Uh, but so when your character does the forced jump off of the wall mm -hmm. uh, because they have failed the wall run while you're doing that if you just hit B you can then dodge back towards the wall here. and just go back to running up it mm. so if you do that and manage your wire bugs properly you can pretty much just infinitely run up any wall that is flat Let's enough see. for you to run yeah, I've been noticing that. I, I appreciate that they have these ones that are just like, go gather shit. And then they put them up in, in places where you need to learn to wire, uh, use the wire bugs effectively. Yeah. Cause Significantly it, better than the old games, like go get an egg and then run away from a Rathian for five minutes. I remember that quest. <laughs> this, this actually teaches you how to maneuver in the game and about freedom of movement. <laughs> What's this? Rise, you can just kind of spider monkey up everything if you feel like it. Yeah. And there's a lot of hidden endemic life in all these zones and spirit bugs that are very helpful. Yeah, because in in the old Monster Hunters or the one that I played especially, uh, a lot of this would just be like, ah, oh, yes, I guess I can get up there, but I really shouldn't Sweet. be getting up here. Now I actually feel like they intended for you to get up here. Yeah, I don't. So because I had already beaten the game prior to Sunbreak, I don't know how early they introduce you to this mechanic, but the dogs at some point can start sniffing things out. Oh yeah, they can do that. And now. they'll just yeah, they'll just mark it on your map for you. Yeah. Uh, which is immensely convenient because yeah, can... especially in Master Rank, you want to collect all the green spear bugs you possibly can until your max health before engaging yeah. combat with anything. So it's nice to just be able to mark them and be able to follow the little box. I guess it's up there. I'm gonna be doing some climbing. Anything useful in here? Huzzah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, you're getting the Uh, 
But yeah, uh, what ended up eventually getting me back into this is um, I I had some issues with Monster Hunter World, and from what I understand, a lot of my we big issues it. have been resolved in this game, uh, which is some of the janky hitboxes in World, especially with the same same three Elder Dragons you fought in the base game, um, and then also just the end game grind was really not that fun. There just wasn't enough uh, variety with it. And you were always just grinding for um, just random decorations. So I will outwardly say hitboxes generally are better. Yep, that's what uh, I've heard. <laughs> granted, they have balanced their monster design around counter skills and around iframes that are longer than what they like? give to dodges so you will be encouraged to use wire bug skills that give you iframes okay. it's generally fun so i don't complain about it like it's fun to see a monster doing a big wind up and have you use your counter move against it and be like yeah i did don't forget to eat but i will also say this game returned to the way that old games do it which is you craft decorations and you randomly find charms. Yeah, uh, that's what I've heard. Which means instead of there being a one in 2,000 chance of you getting an attack charm when, or attack decoration when a decoration drops, uh, if you want a specific charm, you're now looking at a one in 326 billion chance of getting it. So it's worse. Uh, if you're a lot more lenient on what you consider to be a good enough charm, then, you know, you're going to get plenty of them. Uh, this is just for people who are min-maxing. So if you don't give a shit, then you're going to get good enough charms. Yeah, that's kind of what I've, I've about it. understood. And the game, everyone seems to describe this game as easier than World was. Yeah, it's it's mostly because of the counters. Because they, they give you a lot of them. So, like every weapon in the game is a counter move now. Which if you just get good about using it, then it it has a more arcadey style to it. In that it's it's a bit more like bombastic. It's a bit more fun and silly with the combat. To where everyone's just got some ridiculous anime moves that they can whip out. Hold up, this doesn't seem right. Is this supposed to be where I am? What? Uh, this is DLC quest, isn't it? No. Oh, okay. No, that's the second map. You're good. Okay. Yeah, except uh, unlike monster, uh, unlike Diablo Immortal, uh, you can't buy charms. Yeah. When I heard about basically all the stuff that you would do in this. Um, Honestly, I was just looking at this and going, wow, this actually feels like what I originally expected AAA games to be. <laughs> Although, I hear that when it released, it was definitely not in that state. Yoink. So. It, it wasn't that bad, but I also, you know, played it first on PC, so I had the, the six month of Switch playtesting out of the way. <laughs> oh, it was more just that the, the story didn't even have an ending yet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's that's Monhun games generally. Is the story has like a weird half ending and then something comes out and you get to do it again. But yeah, I mean all Monster Hunter games have the same exact storyline anyway. Yeah, as you don't play them for a story. Yeah, because the story is like always someone's terrorizing us. Uh, go figure that out, and then you're like, oh, there's actually a bigger bad that's controlling that person. And then you're like, oh, wait, there's a biggest bad. And then that's it. And then a DLC comes out where it's like, oh, man, there's a bigger, bigger bad. <laughs> and you're like, okay. Oh, uh, yes, bigger monster. Yeah. Uh, like Shar uh, Sharmagala. No, uh, Shar Shar Ishvalda. Uh, Shar Ishvalda. Yeah. Or Iceborne was just... I still... I love that you defeat Shar Ishvalda. And then Nergigante's like, that's my meal. Mm. <laughs> I don't know where Nergigante puts all of that fat, but boy, must do some yeah. amazing workouts. 
Yeah, he probably grows a bunch of spines and just uses them for later. He just stores the energy in spines mm. and hatred. All right. I, I was fishing in the previous game? Yeah. Can I catch it's a big one? Oh, yeah. Largely pointless. It. Like, you can get some stuff. Technically, you can make some food with it. Your days are making food fishies. in this game is slightly better than making food in the last game, so. Because <laughs> uh, if you ask the chefs to prepare you like monster tails or fish that you've gotten, then they'll give you doggo tickets. So mm. you can just, in addition to can the I food, so you can one. get a bunch of well done steaks or like gourmet fish and have dongo tickets to guarantee that you get better yeah. skills more often. Right. But that also means you can just go kill like 20 of something like. and give them like 30 tails and then they give you like 200 dongo tickets and you're just set for life. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> just be like that. What the heck is this thing back here? Can I catch a big one? Hunting Horn is also hilarious. Yeah, I've heard that it, it got super buffed for this game. Yeah, it's funny because it got Omega buffed and everyone was talking about how OP it was going to be in the demo and how everyone was going to play it and then the game came out and no Let's one played see if it. Bite. Mm. I guess people were it's still... It's still like bottom three weapon. <laughs> people were probably still looking at it and going, Ew, a support weapon. <laughs> yeah. Despite, but no, the the, the weapon you've been initiating on the fishies. Jaggy with literally just has iframes for the first like half of it. Oh yeah, yeah, I noticed that. I, I think I got hit twice by that Jaggy the entire fight. So it's like can I catch a you just one? you can have so many iframes. That's Hunting Horn's main way of dealing with the counter-based attacks is you just play that song into it. <laughs> And yeah, you just play songs by just playing two of the same note, and then Your that's it. Days are numbered, I'm fishies. not sure I like that change, but I get why they did it. So, have you been introduced to switch skills at all, or just know what they are? Uh, I have been told they exist. Fair enough. You will get one that allows you to go back to the old style of Let's song playing, if you so choose. Okay. And it gives you, like, better attacks. I think yeah. you lose out on the invulnerability move. I don't entirely remember. Yeah, I was um, I was looking at the hunting horn, horn and going, this seems a bit too simple. I actually liked having to pick my attacks in accordance with what song I wanted. Mm. Even if that did mean sometimes I would just be like, ah, oh, yes, I'm go going to smash the ground for a couple seconds here. Yeah, hunting horn gets a bunch of fun stuff because, like, you'll get a little, like, flower or, like, bubble that you can set on the floor that you can like detonate by playing a song. Mm -hmm. It's 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 fun. They get a bunch of fun stuff. Hello, strange rabbit. That's our target. <laughs> Never seen you before. Oh god, it runs. <laughs> Okay, good. It is. Sunbreak is master. Oh god, damn it. I had hoped the sun wasn't actually a thing, so. Just a push of the Oh god, tremors. I forgot about tremors. They're a chunky boy. Your head is tiny! <laughs> Why 
Why is your head so tiny? It's not over yet! Run like the wind! Also, if you so choose, you can bring in two cats or two dogs. Yeah, I, saw, I heard about that, as long as you're playing solo. Yeah, if you're playing, if you're even in a multiplayer lobby, it gets Like, you don't even have to be in a co-op match, just if you're in a lobby, then it gets ripped. Be careful! Oh, right, I forget that we have mobil mobility options that I haven't been using yet. Yeah, you'll you'll get a hang of wire bug. Oh, I'm also trying to do this on uh, controller this time because I figured to give it a shot. I don't know if I like controller versus not Give me your head! He's asleep. I did not know you could put monsters to sleep without actually having a sleep weapon. So what's with the name change? Uh, I started adding people at work, and uh, a lot of people that I meet on dating apps also use this word, and I got tired of telling people that my name is in fact not edgy, and it's just a whole thing. Ah. Oh. 
Gotta keep it sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Cut it off. Why is this severe? It's weak spot. It depends. Tell me it's the cutting weapons. Oh, I did not know that monster did that. Okay. I don't know why I picked now to take on my version of this. a meaningful amount of damage is uh, going to be a, a challenge, honestly. I see, the column mute replaces the slide that we had in the game. Or is that still there? Uh, you could do a launcher, like a launch out of a slide into a, uh, a downward attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a way to initiate a jumping attack. Ow. Jesus, that hits hard. Oh, you can knock. Okay. You can knock him down if he's on both of his hind legs like that. Yeah, I play like half the weapons I play on. Obviously, I'm gonna go. Yeah! There we go. You got the boy. I'll be taking this.
And now we wait. So, what is that RT plus Y thing? Is that a wire bug uh, attack? Uh, my brain is trying to think. Probably. generally things that have two button inputs that aren't comprised of you know like the attack buttons or something to do with wire Hi. Huh? yay i don't oh right okay that's how the palomute training works it's literally just take your palomute with you yeah, that or you can put them in the buddy dojo uh, and just like set them to train with the dude. Here's the quest list. We all of those. That's a gathering one. Sure, let's get the small ones out of here. So you can still do the slot. Yeah, on certain slopes, it's not super frequent. But there's some. I guess he's not wrong. Would you come back here? You're gonna make my life difficult. That's okay, the cat has good names. Which is a funny sentence even in context. Just, it's okay, the cat has grenades. Or go. That's a good start. So I will say that a lot of the endemic life just get like added to your inventory temporarily, mm -hmm. uh, and you can just use them like an item. Uh, so the S cargo is just a thing you set down that sits down a little healing zone, and it's convenient. Yep, I already used a couple of them by accident. Yeah. But, like, they're convenient for healing. Obviously, the anti-venom cobras are nice to keep around during certain hunts. <laughs> it does make me laugh because you, you imagine your hunter just stuffing all these animals down their pockets. Oh, yeah, just, like, grab a, grab a cobra by the throat and just be like, I might need you later. <laughs> it's great.
Same thing for the birds. Yeah. There's also spiders, so <laughs> shoving them in your pockets is fun. So there's actually two kinds of spiders now as of Sunbreak. Like these little guys? Yeah. Puppet spiders are invaluable tools. Whoops. They're that very good. Go well. Oh well. We're going this way, I guess. Yeah, you just kind of huck the puppet spider at a monster and you ride it. <laughs> huh. Wait, that was a wire bow. Give me. And because wyvern rides are very good and very fun, a lot of people love them. Oh, well, that's how to... Okay. Yeah, there's like <laughs> three ways of initiating a wyvern ride and they're one of them. So that's how to drift with the top. Yeah. <laughs> that's very goofy. I love the drifting because it, it gives you a speed boost after, so it is just efficient, like, to just zoom around. <laughs> These guys make me laugh. Too. Oh yeah, you get a you get a request if you haven't already to take a picture of one as it's exploding. No, no. So you have to like bully the wildlife and take pictures. Of them. <laughs> Why did they explode, anyway? Oh no, they eat explosive stuff, probably. They're weird little guys, I don't judge them. Hey you, I'm not here for you today. I said I'm not here for you today. Let's get this show on the road! I said I'm not here for you today. Yeah. Rude. Oh wow, you really can just move all over the place. You can go wherever the hell you want, especially when you have a bunch of great wire bugs set up. You can just zoom. Like, and you find like the secondary camps. And there's a new sunbreak system that you can use to set up even more camps. You can just do whatever the hell you want. No one's stopping you. Mine now. I assume I need these at some point. I'll be taking this for something. Yoink. Hello, God Bug. What's this? Okay. Throwing kunai. Oh, let me ride us on the hop bar. Didn't notice that. How do you adjust hop bars? Uh, how long of an answer do you want? <laughs> uh, radio menu settings. Class. Oh. Oh, that gets really in depth. So. You can adjust your radial menu to a ridiculous degree. Uh, and you can save them to item loadouts. So if you want to bring the same stuff every hunt and have the same radial menu with that stuff, mm -hmm. you can do that. But there's only four of the loadouts. Which is kind of annoying for someone that plays a lot of weapons. Whatever. And your item pouch, unfortunately, this is another downgrade from Worlds. Making progress. Uh, the only way to adjust where things are on your action bar, like your little item bar, mm -hmm. is to just change how you put them in your item pouch. Mm. So if you want your potions first, they have to be in the first slot. If you want antidotes next, they have to be right next to it. Oh, that's annoying. 
I mean, I guess so there is still makes... at least a way. Yeah, but it's not world's customization where you can choose your starting position and where everything shows up. You kind of can, but like, it depends on how okay you are with your item pouch just being gnarly looking. I wind up using my radial menu for everything except my mega potion inputs, so it doesn't really matter to me very much. More Making progress. Oh god, I need to start crafting traps at some point. How useful are traps in this game? Less. Uh, I mean, they're as useful combat-wise, but uh, that's another thing that Monster Hunter World's lied to us about compared to other Monster Hunter games, is it's not always more efficient to capture things in Rise. Uh, okay. It is, in fact, more efficient the majority of the time to kill something. That always seemed weird to me, because, I mean... You're, you're still getting the whole monster. Yeah. So, effectively, you'll probably want to kill everything unless you just want fights to end faster, which is totally a legitimate reason to trap things. Uh, I tend to only trap things at this point if we have already used two carts and I'm worried about us using a third. Hmm. But there are certain item drops from certain monsters that have a higher chance uh, of showing up in the rewards, whether you capture or. This is gonna be easy. So if you're looking for something specific, it's usually worth looking that up. Right. Which you can do in the hunter notes. I don't mean like. <laughs> Traps are good, but eh. that's apparently how it used to be. Is that the the generally agreed upon thing in public groups was that you were going to kill the monster unless it was within capture range and you knew that, and someone had like just carded or people were like really spread out on the map and they wouldn't be able to get there to carve. Mm. Or you were just worried about losing them. And outside of those two reasons, you would just Doing always great. kill. Right. Mine now. And then Worlds kind of flipped it on its head by making captures more efficient in all respects. And that's a, that was apparently weird for a Monster Hunter game. <laughs> Making progress. I don't know why I'm beating the crap out of this cat. I don't know. They're mean. Might as well. Well, it gave me something, so that's <laughs> something. What? Oh! Oh! Yeah, you're doing wire bug moves. I, why, why can oh, I'm holding. That's better. Yeah, when you're holding aim, you can do a multitude of inputs that lead you to wire bugging in different directions. Because one goes towards where you're aiming, so you can use it to go up. One just moves you forward. Doing great. One moves you at a 45 degree angle up in the direction your character's facing. So if you just don't feel like aiming up, you can do that one instead. Yeah. Uh, so, the person who was telling me about this initially told me more or less how the wire bugging works. Yeah. Let's see here. I guess I'll also That's just one. say, if you want to get more distance out of all your wire bugs, just dodge. 
do a mid-air dodge after all of them. Because then you can like double the distance that you get. So you can just zoom around even harder. Especially when they've made Extender 3, you can just fly around the map all everywhere, but it's insane. I hear that with uh, a certain weapon, uh, the... Uh, what do you call it? The one where everyone says you, that you can fly. Yep. Uh, you have actually can fly in this game. Yeah, Gunlance is very funny. Because Gunlance can now just shoot its Making gun behind it this. to propel it forward through the sky. It is awesome. <laughs> it is very, very funny. Especially if you start at a camp that's like very high up, where you've just climbed a mountain to get a puppet's or something. Piece of cake! And you can just be yourself to wherever you want on the map with like four ammo. Yeah. Alright. Game's movement is very fun compared to Worlds, which is just teleport to the nearest camp and run. Uh, one thing that I will say about this game is that I actually ate a steak for the first time. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think I ever ate a steak in Monster Hunter World. Accurate. I will say that I don't eat steaks ever, and it gets me screwed over more often than not. And I still don't do it because I'm, I'm lazy. Because as you might imagine, having your stamina be at like 20 Kamura, of a max of I 150 come. when you're playing a block weapon, it's not the best idea. Yep. But hey, I manage. I'm just sitting here looking at Jeffrey Nunn in town because I just haven't entered a hunt in the last fucking 10 minutes. I didn't hear any of that. The music was too loud. Fair enough. <laughs> I've just been standing around in town talking. I haven't been, like, doing anything. Hey. How about this weather? Hmm? I have gathered all the honey. I have slain the 14 monsters. Are these just... Yeah, these are just endlessly repeatable, right? Yeah, they're they're primarily a way of getting you a lot of armor spheres and some miscellaneous materials. Hmm. So, if you want to be efficient, uh, then just always have five of them rocking and just keep doing them. I did them for a very long time until I had more Which armor spheres like? than I knew what to do with. It's time. Okay, that's the bear. Don't forget to eat. I will forget to eat. Oh, actually, I was trying to figure out how to eat earlier. But I don't, maybe I'm not interacting with the right part here. Uh, yeah. Cause it's not her. No, it's her little table next to her. To her right. Like, the one that's got the little blue chairs next to it. You guys sit in one of the chairs. Oh my god. And order some food like a, like a normal human being. Pay with money. Order the usual. Also, I'll just add in, uh, there's no more of you having to look for fresh food if you want health and stamina. You just eat whatever dongo you want. You will 
always get the maximum amount of health and stamina that you can get within that point of the game, as long as you eat. Whew. So, that's nice, because you don't have to sacrifice what buff you want based on if it had fresh food for it for the day. Oh, well, that's good. That always felt a little bit random, and, and I like... Some hunts would just go better or worse, depending on whether you had decent food for it. Yeah, so don't got to worry about that now. You just find the food buffs that you like, eat for them every hunt, and you have a good time. Running into the darkness. Fangs snapping at your heels. When at last you stop to rest, a quick look around reveals. You walked straight into a nest, littered with previous meals. Don't stop. Don't linger. Don't sleep in this den. For the beast will find you, and you'll never wake again. What is it with all the rashes? Early game. <laughs> I mean, even Monster Hunter didn't have this many raptors. Yeah. Or Mo sorry, Monster Hunter World. I said Monster Hunter as it as a generalization. What am I talking about? I got it. Because I mean, that's been your your main one. So. Yeah. What are these things Maybe called? Not. Uh, I don't know. They're just mammoths. They vibe. Let's find out. Come over here. Oh. Um. I... Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> What'd you do? They, uh appear to disappear as a defense mechanism. <laughs> I've never seen that happen. <laughs> they just instant transmissioned out. Yeah, basically. They're just like, nah, we done with this. Anything useful in here? I am... Frankly amazed that Palamute can dig through solid like ice. The wind. Yeah. Okay, so we got the bunny over there. Which means we got the dinosaur over here. I fucked up. Yeah. I have fucked up a myriad of times since starting the presentation for the day. I don't know why I am being such a terrible hunter. on my work will be very good. Oh god, it's it's sleep. Oh god. Oh yeah, sleep boy. Those. I forgot that we just have a way to walk ourselves constantly. Can I 
put my weapon away. Thank you. as just being a, an instrument that you happen to be using as a club. Yeah. I had issues with it in Rise because it didn't feel as chunky. Like, it felt more like a multi-hit weapon, less like a, a single big bomb weapon. Which is fine, it's just a different vibe. Give me your head! Damn it, your head's in the rock. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Now, now that I'm actually looking at your screen. Yeah, right trigger plus Y is like... I think it plays all of your songs at once and it's like a messed up version of the songs and it doesn't have to Making progress, So it's like, it's your, uh, it's your recital. That you get up the like, You build up that meter while you're using your breakdown song. Watch your health! Next time the monster is KO'd or flinched or something, just go. <laughs> The dinosaur. I do know that I haven't done any mount attacks yet, but I'm not sure if that's just because I haven't been doing very many plunging attacks or if they're harder to do. So, mount attack, you do mounting damage through doing your wire boat moves. Ah, okay. I think lore wise, it's because the thing that you use. To, as reins is wirebug silk. So the more frequently you utilize wirebugs in your move set, the more silk you'll build up on them. Until there's enough on them to ride. Mm. So some mounting like mounting attacks will do a bit, but most of your mounting damage will come from that. really have a great option for an attack to do that. So. I know like the only reason that I can mount with I 
I forget? Monsters indeed. When did you get here? How long have I missed you? A good hit. <laughs> Slowly falling asleep as I'm just spinning all over it. Well, I'll be taking this. That wasn't too bad. That one did a little bit more damage. I actually had to heal for that. Now I'm thinking, actually, how did I miss that person? It's not like me to be talking. Yeah. Again. Yeah, I don't know if Sniper Guy is still in chat, but no. welcome. <laughs> also, I don't know if you're, you've noticed the whole uh, the fires eating everything. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Mission complete. Can't You're say still... I'm super up to date on any lore. But... <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. um, how many shields do we have right now? A uh, long story short, the fire is eating everything so that it can set up for the next event. 65. Hey. Oh, hey, the YouTube bot actually responded too. That sometimes exists. Ooh. Okay. What? Let's see here. player content. Gotcha. Hmm. No problem. I think hands is always nice. And being ice resistant when they just introduced you to an ice zone. Yeah. The village is in your hands. Right. Uh where how do you hunt just like random monsters? If I was like, to say go, go after a, a, another great baggy. Uh, you mean like an expedition from worlds, or uh, just like... not quite? Like, are there specific missions that are just go hunt this monster type? Not really. <laughs> you, if you want to fight something specific, you just go replay a quest where you fought it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, hello. So if you wanted to fight in Izuchi or whatever, you'd just go reselect the one star quest where you go fight him. Okay. Have a look. 
the grizzly glutton. You know what? I might as well do these. So I, I guess these are the expeditions where I just go out to yeah. whatever. That's where you just go faff about, you do whatever you want, and then you just hit the, you hit the I'm done button whenever you're done. Let's go! Not too much going on. You just get to explore. Eh, new area. Might as well. So if you want to, <laughs> if you want to hear about some meme controversy with Sunbreak, I just find it hilarious, and everyone knew this was gonna happen. But there's a mission type where you just get to like hunt with an AI, mm -hmm. uh, and it's fun. It's cool. It's for solo content, uh, but like gets you a bunch of armor sets, and it gets you to like be buddies with the NPCs. And stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of people talking online that are just like, thanks Capcom for finally showing me how bad my teammates actually were because this AI is better than them. <laughs> That's disappointing. So it's, it's half like, thank you for making an actually good AI that doesn't feel bad to hunt with because they are genuinely just like, fine. But also, this. yeah, God, compared to some randos, they are oddly competent, and that's getting people to want to play Pugs less. Because huh. they're just like, man, this is really just showing me how bad people are. <laughs> oh man, I remember back in, uh, back in the day running around uh, on Grady Quest, and there would be like, every, I would be the hunting horn, someone else would be the charge plate, and other people would just be other various weapon Sweet. types. But there would always be a charge blade user that would wait for the Nergigante to go to sleep and immediately rev up an ultra. <laughs> yep. And like they would It's wouldn't... always that or a great sword user that immediately revs up a true charge. Yeah. And they're just like, yeah, I want to get this done. I am not going to wait for everyone else to be prepared. <laughs> Preparation? What's that? <laughs> Yeah. I can't say I hunt with randos often, if at all, but like the couple times where I have, it is generally still that, where you will either get people that are taking their sweet time or way too serious people that are just there to like crank missions out and they don't care if they're just like hard carrying everyone involved. Like, what's this? <laughs> against their will. The level Run 99 like the hunter. Wind. Anything useful in here? I don't even remember where I actually ended up leaving on um, World because I did get really tired of the the grind at the end. What's this? Mm I mean, that's fine, and there's always kind of just, like, a part of Monster Hunter where you just kind of gotta look at it and just be like, okay, well, the only reason to play now is to play yep. and to have fun with friends, and there's not really much else past that. Yeah. Oh. Because, like, I hunt to hunt. Like, I hunted with you guys, uh, like, in the early days. I hunted with a buddy. And we just co op by hunted with Robert's group all the time. Like, I just. I just hunted to hunt. I was hunt to rank like 600. I didn't care. I just kept playing. Mm -hmm. I was just having fun vibing with people. This is very. That's kind of how it is for this. And that, that's. Uh, I've been kind of lacking just a game that I play when I don't want to do anything for a while. Because uh, I was playing Warframe for a while, but Warframe kind of got tiring. Because there just wasn't anything new in Warframe for a long time. 
Um, now there yeah. is. I mean, and they actually, just released a good chunk of content, which is fun. But... Yeah, I, I finished all the story content already, and then uh, I've just been letting it sit in the background, accumulating stuff while I did other things. But um, Warframe is just one of those ones where I might take another look at it at some point. Because I was pretty much, I, I wasn't like maxed out, but I was very close to maxed out. This is gonna be and easy. actually getting maxed out wouldn't have changed anything about how I played the game. So. Say goodbye. Yeah, there is a very fun thing. Uh, I don't know if you've been paying attention to it, Nothing but now when time. you forma people, the amount of base like charge and base abilities you have access to is based on your mastery rank. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I, re I played through that. Awesome. Thoroughly enjoy the fact that I can just start with my ultimate when I'm formaing people. The funny thing is that I actually called them doing that uh, years before they finally did it. Everyone was asking for it because they're like, we're tired of our frames being a Naros for like five missions every time we form of them because they don't have an ability. Yeah. Or even worse than a Naros if they happen to be like not able to uh, tank anything. Yeah. So everyone's like, we're just, can we please just fix this? And then they finally gave us a reason to like farm mastery rank what and I just never that? bothered. Hello? Uh, that is the Zemtrios. Oh god, it's got a really or big Zemtrite. Second. Yeah. They're big sharks. They're they're the babies of the inflatable shark from the other This is gonna be easy! Oh yeah, I heard that apparently there's a lot of references to other monster hunters. Or like other uh, monsters in their adult form. Yeah. But some of them just don't show up in this. Yeah. So far we have yet to have inflatable dragon. Or inflatable shark. I am Sag. Anything yeah, I'm like, that's how here. Monster Hunter games always tend to go, is that there's like 30% of the cast is new monsters and everything else is old monsters revamped. Mm -hmm. Nothing personal, buddy. Just Run still like chill. Wind. And it gives, like, veteran hunters things to be excited about, of like seeing old, old fun monsters or fan favorites show up again. Yeah. I know in they added one of the flagship monsters from my first Monster Hunter game in Base Rise, and then they added the other flagship monsters in Sunbreak, and it's been like super fun getting to fight them again. Yeah, I, that was part of the part of the reason I also came back was there's a bunch of monsters in here that I really wanted to try, like Gormagala and um, uh, what do you call it? The um, the the Rocket Dragon. Jet plane dragon. Uh, jet dragon. Yeah. That was what I was fighting earlier when I said, why did I choose to do my urgent mission right now? Okay. Oh. Yeah, sadly, you will have to hit Hunter rank 100 to fight him, but... Hmm. It, it... Yep. Takes a while. It's, eh. it's unfortunate, but it gives, gives you something to do. <laughs> we'll see if I'm still around by that point, but... I don't think I even yeah. hit 100 in uh, in world. Yeah. You'll you'll be like I don't know when they'll introduce you to Sunbreak as part of the story. Cuz I think it'll probably be right after you finish like the shortened version of the story but not before you've done all like the post story urgent quests. Mm -hmm. So you'll probably be like hunter rank like 14 or something by the time you start doing master rank stuff and if you only just go through master rank stuff then you might be hunter rank like 30 or 40 by the time you finish god i love all the weird so, in life <laughs> yeah that one taunts things it's fun it's got a big <laughs> like I will say, they made the world a lot more interactive in this one compared to Worlds. Mm. 
Like in one of the new maps, there's just like squids that are just like swimming around, and if the monster's standing in the water as the squids like swim by, they'll take damage. Oh really? As the razor squids just like swim under their toes. There's just some fun shit like that. There's some like crystal squids that are attached to the wall, or if they notice the monster's down, they'll just start shooting at him, just to bully him with you. Huh. It's it's fun. Like the world is very interactive in Rise. There's like always some shit going on. I'll be taking in the area this. You're in. Yeah. It's kind of why I was uh, saying that it just Nothing seems personal, it seems weird to me that this stuff like this isn't the standard for AAA titles now. Because this isn't like this isn't DLC written. Most of the DLCs are. I think they're just cosmetic, right? Oh yeah, I own cat ears. I understand the cosmetics in this game. <laughs> but yeah, but... They're, they're cosmetics outside of Sunbreak, hmm. which is a forty dollar DLC or a fifty dollar DLC. That yeah, but it's same that... with that... same with Iceborne. It practically doubles the amount of content in the game. Yeah, you're effectively buying another game. How do I? Ah. Oh, I don't have any barbecue. Oh well. Yeah, you don't have any raw meat lying around in your inventory. Well, shoot. All oh. your shit's cooked. <laughs> there we go. That's a good thing. Also, as you might have just noticed, there are just buff fish that are swimming around this map. Yeah. That'll just run into your feet. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that. It's nice. I just, I really like how alive the world is. This needs some polish. Oh, right. I forgot you can whetstone while you're on your dog. It's actually really helpful mid-hunt to just, like, sheath your weapon and hop on your dog to sharpen, because <laughs> then you can just be dodging monsters' attacks while you're sharpening. Yeah. So it's actually, like, really Sweet. nice if you need to sharpen... Uh, and the monster Making isn't progress. planning on leaving the area anytime soon. I don't know how many. There's of a lot these of I nice have. things like that. Uh, if you open up like the start menu and go to item pouch, you can technically see how many you have down at the very bottom. It will say "Great Wire Bug." Ah, oh, too. Uh, and then I think the person that has them wanted to talk to you back in town before you went out on this mission, so there's probably another five of them for you mm. <laughs> waiting back in town. Oh! Sub camp, sub camp. Yeah. Alright. I figured this might be one. Is, do I go in here? How do I activate it? Uh, you'll have to give people materials outside of town. You'll have to, like, fill a request to get it built. Ah, okay, it just activates the request for it. Yeah, you just have to find it, and that activates yeah. the request. Gotcha. Yeah. And god, great wire bugs are fun. I like them. They let you go zoom. Well, that's the first sub-camp I've unlocked, as noted by the tutorial. Yeah, the... The sub-camp in the first map is actually really hard to find, so I don't blame you. Dinosaurs. I don't know. I think it's kind of funny because in worlds you could pick up most things, and that made the world feel alive. And then, and then like this, in Rise you can pick up a lot of stuff, <laughs> shove it in your pocket, and just throw a skunk at monsters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is admittedly very funny. Uh, and yeah, that's it mentions it right there. Getting monsters to fight is one of the three ways to get them into a mountable state. Mm. So if you just lure monsters together, then when they smack each other, the <laughs> main monster that you're hunting uh, will have a higher mounting value than the stuff that are like the sub monsters. Now the stinks so. me. Ah, there it is. So it's just on my health bar. Yeah. Yep. And you just chuck it at someone. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then you want to follow you around. 
Uh, That's it. You can't catch me. All right. So I will say this because it didn't exist in World. Uh, if you are, there are certain items like Trank bombs will work like this, and Flash bugs will work like this. If you're holding down your aim button when you hit X to use the item, you will throw, mm -hmm. as opposed to just chucking it at your. Feet. Gotcha. So. For things like stink minks, that's particularly necessary information to have. Yep. Otherwise, you'll just chuck it at your feet, and that's kind of annoying. Is this still fun? Yeah, it's still fun. Yeah, still, still you got the white powder on you. Once that goes away, they'll stop following. Uh, but also, just as a fun thing, uh, oops. Yeah, that's a weird spot. <laughs> but the okay, he'll find his own way. Cool. Yeah. The sub monsters in a hunt are easier to mount than the main one. Mm -hmm. You can usually hit them with like one or two mounting attacks, and you'll hop right on. Uh, and that's one of my buddy's favorite things to do. Is he always just starts the hunt by just going and stealing another monster and then beating up the one we're hunting with it. Seems like a reasonable strategy. Yeah. Because you can do that to one of them, and then you can go get the other sub-monster with a puppet spider or something. Oh, they wore off. Dang. Oh, well. <laughs> Just throw it. Throw a skunk at him. Just your throw face. a skunk at him. I find it very entertaining, even though I don't use much of the endemic life. My main hunting buddy that uses them all the time. So, like that lantern bug that was sitting on the wall. Next to the gun. It just adds an extra health bar over your health bar. Oh, this is, damage. Okay, this actually kind of works out. Oh man, there's a mount. Sick. <laughs> Get monsters into a mouthful state by attacking them enough with a wire phone. Approach a monster in this state and land a blow or sheath your weapon. Okay. Yeah, so smack him or hit beat. <laughs> yeah, if you see a blue damage number or a blue shimmer on the damage. Now! I have a dinosaur now. Yep. You have to be holding sprint while putting in a movement input, otherwise they don't move. Okay. Just to throw that out there, it's a little clunky. But yeah. Now you just get to attack. Okay. Like with the monster's attacks. And yeah, you use your wire bug gauge to evade. You can use the evade to like cancel the end lag of some really heavy hitting moves. You can spam it. Uh, and there are directional inputs, so if you do like, if you hold forward and use an attack, it'll be a different attack than if you held left or right and did the, the same attack button. But yeah, it's just fun. gets it stuck in the ground. Yeah, That's so one. you can cancel that by just using an evade pretty much as soon as you deal damage to the other monster. Like, you can legitimately kill Elder Dragons by just using other monsters. <laughs> you can just do that if you feel like it. Sounds like someone It's was, a viable uh, hunting strategy. Like, it kicks ass. It's pretty fun. Someone was a big fan of Monster Hunter Legends. Is that what? Is that the right one? The, the DS uh, one. That they finally brought to PC recently. Uh, I actually don't remember. So. Hmm. All right, how do I go back now? 
Uh, just hit your menu button and tab over like once. Uh, oh. and it's complete quest. Yeah. Mission complete. Me well, that was productive. Yeah. Mounts are fun. Learning where the endemic life you like to use is on each map is nice. Although I guess now that you can sniff them out, it's a little bit less important. But... Just learning where all the puppet spiders are, or if you want to grab a lantern bug, that way you have an extra health bar. You can grab a turtle and they give one hit protection. So in case you're just super worried about getting slapped around, you can just go pick up those before a hunt. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like a monster, like an Izuchi just swings its tail at you, and you just, you just hold up a turtle. <laughs> yep. A poor turtle. It, I mean, they're so good. <laughs> if you grab a turtle and a lantern bug, you have, like, so much extra protection. It is kind of insane. It's super comfy. Speaking of comfy, I like the new town. It's nice. It's not as big as uh, it's not as big as the Monster Hunter World Town is, and I don't mean that as a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I... And there are still a lot of teleport points, mm -hmm. and you don't need to use like the the weird like wire Welcome. system <laughs> where you like grab onto the chain. You can just teleport wherever you want, whenever you want. You can also use wire bugs in town. So yeah, I noticed that. You can just zoom around. <laughs> it's particularly helpful in the Sunbreak town because you can do a lot of climbing in here. And in the Buddy Plaza, there's like a secret you, you can find. They probably tell you about it, but you have to climb around to go get it. Oh, here's the big so, wolf wire bug, dude. And yeah, their missions tend to just be, hey, use some wire books, and that'll give you more wire books. Oh, good. Six more wire books. Yes, you just get six more. And as soon as you use like three of them, he'll be like, oh, here's like ten more. Oh, I love you using these things. <laughs> there really is like no reason for it. I don't get why. <laughs> Like it seems I guess a bit it would be a little bit weird if they just gave you like 60 all at the beginning of the game. And you're like, what? what are these things for? <laughs> Why do I need so many of them? Oh, right. Uh, I was going to try and find a, bag a baggie to fight, but I never actually did. Oh, well. Hello? Hello? Well, that person won't stay in mystery for, for long. <laughs> oh, hey, Stutter. Do you even have any logs on the bot anymore? Uh, uh, I have no idea. You probably don't because it's based off the username and you changed it. There. Yeah, I probably don't. Then. <laughs> I might be able to see if you had any in the, in the old settings. What you up to, Skoda? This Discord said it was maybe not your spot. Uh, you may need to speak up. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, I saw it today. It might not be the best day, but yeah. So, what were you playing? 
only. Ah, uh, this. Uh, wasn't I playing what now? Were you playing friendly? Uh, I was playing Eastward, but I, I wanted to take a break from that for a bit. Oh, hi. Uh, and just do something that wasn't on any of the lists. Oh, so this is just whatever. <laughs> yep, whatever Thursday. <laughs> I used to have a day like these on, on every Wednesday, but now I don't stream on Wednesdays, so... Like, old schedule was just like, I would do Tuesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, a Wednesday would be whatever I wanted it, it to be, and then Thursday and Friday would also just be streams, and Saturday and Sunday would be something like really long streams, usually of something that I thought I could finish. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to take a bit of a break. Um, and do something that I picked up recently. So here we are with Monster Hunter Ri Rise. Rise. Uh, I've heard of that game, yes. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed World enough to give it another shot. Yeah, uh, yeah tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be hosting a Jackbox. Mm -hmm. so, that'll be fun. Yeah, party games never really mixed well with me. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, you can get up here. Yeah, you can you can go wherever you want. And yeah, party games for me are hit or miss, because like I can have certain groups of friends where I'm just like I'll vibe with it and I'll just be hanging out and we'll all be having a good time. And then there's certain people that it's just like just not fun with sometimes. I feel like I've been lied to, Kalala. Yeah, the third I made is uh, I only I've I've been the one who's invited the people in them, but I do have it so they can invite other people if they want, so yeah. yeah. There was one party game that I was always a big fan of, which was um Cards Against Humanity, because everyone's a bad person when playing that. I've actually never played that game. I've heard of it, mm. but never actually played. Uh, there's all like free versions of it online if you want. Yeah, I I can't expect that because. <laughs> yeah. Which I think. Oh goddamn it! I keep forgetting. So that was actually one of the incentives for a uh, big fundraiser that I did, and I never actually got around to it, and I don't think anyone remembered about it either, because I just remembered I never did it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even remember it, but it might have been before I even found you, so obviously. Or it might have been during the period where you weren't around frequently. Yeah. What one of you? That was a very long period. Yeah. Yeah. So what was that about college? You said you got the college acceptance back? Uh, yeah, the acceptance email and <clears throat> I just, uh, when I got it, spent like an hour doing s s stuff. I still need to do things, but now I'm kind of just waiting for certain stuff to go through so I can continue <laughs> doing other stuff to get in. Yeah. <laughs> well, the hard part, or the uh, most nerve-wracking part is done, at least. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, I spent like, spend like, a few months when I... You know, Which quest would you like? Put that in, so, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know what? We can do another chill one. Don't forget to eat. Honestly, so in Monster Hunter World, they always felt kind of like they were just like, ah, oh, god, things I have to do until I actually, or right, until I can do the fun stuff. But in this one, I actually see the purpose behind these quests. Because they're they're more about teaching you uh, the environment, so you have a better idea of how to fight the big monsters. Yeah. 
they they've been doing a better job over the course of developing different oh, Monster Hunter games because they used to just give you such an obscene amount of busy work. Like in some of the first Monster Hunter games I played, it would straight up be like 20, nearly 30 quests before they even gave you a big monster. And you're just like, Yoink. why? Yeah. And like now they've condensed it down significantly. But they also used to have to do that because uh, they wouldn't sell you very much, if anything. That was like gonna help you in combat so you needed to know where you got all your potions and they needed to know that you made potions because if you didn't you would never get past the first time so they never just like gave you a bunch of mega pots and they're just like here when these run out just like make sure you get more of them because they're nice so uh those are apparently called popos oh yeah popos um yeah i need to kill some of them Sweet. And they keep vanishing. Hmm. This could be a problem. Do better. Punch harder. Yeah. I just. How does a mammoth disappear? <laughs> Very. Oddly fast. Oddly fast for how large they are. Hey, hey, come back here. No? No, I know you're going to the to the random point in the wall where you somehow vanish. Damn it. <laughs> they're just they're just hiding in the bush, man. Just just get one. Damn it. I believed you. What? I believed you that they were hiding in the bushes. <laughs> You're just vibing, dude. Okay, oh, this is gonna be an interesting quest. Do I have to trap them somehow? I honestly can't say that I did that until I was already, like, all the way through the game and I could just, like, one-tap them. Mm. But that's... we just played it differently, so that's... Yeah. I never did this when it was, like, level slash gear. Damn it! Level. Wow, it really does seem like it takes all the smacking you can possibly do. Yeah, the problem is that the hunting horn is not very great for at redirecting the direction of its attack. Yeah. Hey! Oh, that that's sad that the only <laughs> that's sad that you're just gonna have to murder all this? the babies to get their tongues because you can't kill the parents. Oh, well, maybe. Ah, maybe just two, two small children. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. We have a plan. Oh. All right, well, I'll be around. Nothing it was nice talking away. again. I got another hunting group calling my name. So. All right. I will see you around. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot them my way. Yep. Have fun, doot dootin. <laughs> doot doot indeed. Oh good, they came back out. Except right, for the baby. Peace. Well. <laughs> so now it's just you and me, Skoda. Yep. I think it actually is just you and me because I don't think there's anyone in the chat right now. Well, we're not so direct of your stream. Not with Smell. Yeah. I guess I'd probably pop that up. Just. Just so. Uh, just so someone's not getting chat. Where is the small one? There's the small one. 
I'll be taking this. Well, that sucks. Piece of cake. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, not much. We got Eternal Senia, Stalker, Citizen Sleeper. list. Time's over. Good to see that animation is still in here. This will be easy. Sweet. Be easy. 
the last one I'll be taking this yeah so now we go to the next area try and find more of them Where'd he go? Hey, no, no. Stay put. Oh, Hey, Skoda, you're on both YouTube and Twitch, right? One more baggy, and then we're done. Time for some sharpening. Oh, hey, that does work. Someone else tried to do the sound effect here. Mom. 
mine now. I'll be taking this. You still trying all the various sound effects, Gotta Go! Nothing personal, buddy. Well, I guess that ends it. Well, all right then. 